Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and that you're coping all right in these really turbulent times, these really new situations and circumstances that none of us have come up against before. I thought I'd jump on quickly because I just got some information that I think could help you if you're struggling in these times and so I wanted to share that with you. It follows on from my uh, previous video I did at the start of all this, uh, how to stay cool in a crisis. So if you haven't seen that yet, maybe uh, click the card and go and watch that. And I've been thinking for a while whether I should come on and, and share this with you and like, uh, who am I to share and help in these times? You know, people are yeah suffering greatly. But this one's been coming back and back to my mind you know I keep feeling that it's really important to share so that's why I've uh, got up the um, the courage to come on and share it with you so it's to do with um, a cognitive behavioral therapeutic uh, technique called reframing how you take a bad situation reframe it and then see it in a new positive light and I think we could all use a bit of that in these current climates and times. But before I get on to um, cognit <clears throat> cognitive reframing, I want to share a beautiful quote from Viktor Frankl that, yeah, really encapsulates this idea. And the quote is, forces beyond your control can take away everything you possess, except one thing, your freedom to choose how you will respond to the situation. And essentially what he's talking about is uh, cognitive reframing, that you have the choice to choose how you will uh, approach um, a de and deal and your attitude towards a situation. And that is what cognitive reframing is. So on the Wikipedia page, cognitive reframing is uh, spoken about as cognitive reframing is a psychological technique that consists of identifying and then disputing irrational or maladaptive thoughts. Reframing is a way of viewing and experiencing events, ideas, concepts and emotions to find more positive alternatives. Where we are right now, like Viktor Frankl says, forces far beyond our control in biological, political and um, you know systemic forces have taken away our ability to go outside and carry on our lives as we normally would so this is a, a drastic you know a drastic change in life circumstances and if you're not inclined to read a lot or meditate or be still in yourself if you gain a lot of positive reinforcement from being out being with people all these things that have been taken away from us then you know you would do well to read up a bit more about um, cognitive reframing and to try and implement some of these ideas and concepts to better be able to deal with where we currently are. So that's what I wanted to share. It's, it's up to you, you know, I, I, I probably could go into the detail of the literature a lot more, but I think in this video I just want to share with you that there is a technique in cognitive behavioral therapy where you can you know reframe the situation rather than thinking oh I have to stay at home reframe it and say oh isn't it great that I get to stay at home and there, there's all sorts of ways that you can reframe a situation and this one is really important for us to frame it in a way that benefits us rather than see it in a negative light. And secondly, in regards mindfulness and meditation, I've done several videos on mindfulness on the channel that you can find. But one thing that I've been pondering and contemplating a lot since the beginning of this crisis is how it, in the present moment, like now, or if you're sitting quietly in the front room or if you've gone out for your daily exercise and taken a walk, if you're not being bombarded by the news media, if you're not being bombarded by someone wanting to talk to you about COVID-19 and coronavirus, if you're intensely present in the moment, 
where is it? You know, right now I'm here doing this uh, video log for, for my channel. Where's COVID-19? No one in my house has it. And if I'm not watching the news and being bombarded by it, where is it? And so this is what I keep coming back to. I try and be mindful, be conscious of the moment. And in that moment, none of these exterior things exist. And so th there's an element, I mean, people say, oh, yeah, you can't just bury your head in the sand, Lewis. But I mean, I, I, I'm well aware of what's going on. I'm well aware of what the government has advised and the state of the world. But for me now, it's much more beneficial to be mindful, to be present and not to be swept away in these mental um, gymnastics in regards this many people have got it this many people have died oh my goodness the economy oh and so yes give that some thought ponder what that means to you and your family if it continues for uh, longer than three weeks yeah give that a bit of thought but then put that to the side and come back to the moment be present and mindful and uh, aware and in the moment with your family, with your children. And I think that really makes, you know, it makes it more bearable. It makes it more possible to cope if you just be in the moment. Maybe uh, do a bit of Google searching about Vipassana meditation from the Buddhist lineage and read up a little bit about that. And it talks about just being aware of what actually is at the moment. And in my house, in my room, there's no COVID-19. There's no coronavirus. And I'm still working, thankfully. And when I go out, I have to be mindful of social distancing, like the government say. But that's it. That's it. Social distancing and be aware. But in the present moment, it's okay. So get on with your mindfulness and meditation practice. Maybe read a, a nice book that you've been meaning to read. And I would say don't rely too much on these videos and on the internet because it's all impermanent. Rely on the one thing you can and that you have and that's the present moment. All right, guys, I hope you found a bit of benefit in that. Get mindful get into the present moment and yeah hopefully that removes some stress and anxiety and you can cope a bit better reframe things and take control all right guys take care I'll see you soon bye